Hey guys, it's YB and Herbert. Today we have BCD, which is one of my favorite Korean restaurant chains that are in America, all over America actually. And I'm sure a lot of you who follow me have seen us going to BCD many times, usually on weekends, eating a bunch of sun tofu, sun dubu, which is um, tofu soup. And we got all the levels you can get at BCD from plain all the way to danger. But no spicy level challenge today, which I'm very glad about. So just to try different things, I would say. Yeah, so this is, yeah, and it's not a spicy challenge. We just did one last week. You know, I put Herbert through hell already. So this is not a challenge where he has to eat it or anything, but we just want to try every level of BCD since we love BCD so much. And along with everything, we have the seaweed salad. We have bulgogi, Herbert's favorite meal. And then we have um, spicy pork bulgogi, which is actually not that spicy. I don't think getting plain at BCD is worth it unless you're getting it for a kid. You know, the kid's meal usually is the plain version because the mild isn't that spicy and you gotta really taste the sun tofu, you know. Cheers. So I don't really taste anything in the plain soup. Even for me, it is a little bit plain. Yeah. So I would like to have a little bit of spice. <laughs> You heard him, everyone. Even if you had all these side dishes, I don't think it's that enjoyable. Maybe good for a baby. Now we have ham and sausage, mild. Herbert always gets ham and sausage. If you're not used to Korean food and haven't been to BCD before, it's your first time, ham and sausage is the easy way to get into it. Mm. Mm -hmm. So it's mild. There's a tiny bit of kick, excuse me. I want to eat that too. But you need that little bit of a spice because that adds so much flavor. This is like the beautiful taste of BCD. That I can recommend. That's good. Mm -hmm. A little bit of a kick, mm -hmm. kick in the ass. Not too much. Not Just too much a, at all. A slight hit on the end. Mm -hmm. And yes. yes. If you guys were wondering about BCD, here's a little history on BCD. So BCD story starts with Hisuk Lee, RIP. Oh. She passed away, I think, a couple of years ago. She was a first generation Korean immigrant who loves to cook and share with her family. Her mother in law owned a restaurant in Pukchangdong, which is a district in Korea, which uh, where BCD is named after. And after immigrating to America, she chose to focus on sun tofu among thousands of other Korean foods and had a vision to be successful in America, building her dream one bowl at a time. Starting from one location in Koreatown, Los Angeles in 1996, BCD now has over 13 branches which are all run individually with great care and dedication by Mrs. Lee and her longtime staff. So it's a very popular chain and Sun Tofu is just this spicy soup with tofu and bunch of other things in it like pork, beef, ham, sausage, kimchi, seafood. You can really put anything in it and it is so good. And usually you can get the combo, right? Mm -hmm. So you can get the bulgogi with the tofu. Mm -hmm. Bulgogi That's tofu. That's why it goes together well. You're wearing a nice jersey today. Oh why? yeah. Why? Why? B. So it was my birthday last Happy week. Happy birthday. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. And for my birthday, Herbert got me this Germany jersey and Herbert got himself a Korea jersey. Well, the last World Cup that Korea beat Germany. You don't see that every day, you know? No, every four years. <laughs> okay, so now we have level medium and seafood sun tofu. So there is some shrimp, there are some clams. Cheers. Oh, la la. You taste spice compared to mild? Mm -hmm. You do? A little bit. Mm. It's actually still okay. Right? Medium is still very good. Or maybe something last week left me. No, I think medium is still pretty mild. Medium is still pretty mild. Mm. Still no nose running. Uh. <laughs> no cough. Oh. Oh. Really? Let's quickly move on to our sponsored portion of today, which is the seaweed salad. This time we don't have to go to me in a room because it's right here. This is seaweeds, <laughs> seaweed salad. Now they come packaged just like this which is perfect because you just keep it in the fridge and all you have to do is literally just take it out from there. You don't have to do anything, no cooking required. You can add it on top of pokey, you can add it on top of meat like this, 
or you can just put it by itself as a side dish. There's so much you can do with seaweed salad, you know? Seaweed's seaweed salad is a vegan product made using an authentic Korean recipe. It provides a refreshing way to enjoy the superfood of the sea. Seaweed salad has a ton of health benefits as it is filled with nutrients like fiber and vitamins and minerals like iron. Seaweed also helps with inflammation, can help lower blood pressure and improve heart health. And since they're low in calories and fat while high in fiber, it is good for weight control. Not to mention, it tastes so refreshing. I've been enjoying my seaweed salad regularly in the morning. As I showed you just now, you can just take it out of the bag and serve it as a side dish or as a salad with other veggies. They also go well with any kind of protein, especially marinated meat in my opinion. I added them on top of the spicy pork bulgogi and the beef bulgogi. Not only did they add a nice pop of color, they also elevated the flavor and added a refreshing element to the meat. And let's taste it. I'm gonna do it by itself first without the meat. Mmm! This crunchiness. Refreshing. It's refreshing, yeah. It's actually good to combine it. With the meat. Because yeah. if you just eat the meat, you might get a little bit sick of the meat. Mm. So... It's kind of like in Korean barbecue. You eat it with the lettuce, you know, all the meat, to take down the oiliness a little bit and yeah, tone down the meatiness. And it goes really well. I think it would be really good on pokey too. It is actually flavorful. Mm -hmm. I didn't expect it. So this comes in this resealable bag and it says it has HPP high pressure processing, inhibits microbial growth, maintains product freshness and quality, maintains original flavor and nutritional purposes, and prevents secondary contamination. So this whole seaweed salad, you can just keep in your fridge, keep it fresh, and take it out whenever you want to eat it as your side dish or part of the meal whenever. The seaweed brand is the producer of roasted seaweed snacks branded under Kirkland and Costco, and other kinds of seaweed snacks that are sold on Amazon. They have roasted Korean seaweed flakes that are great to add on top of rice or a salad or to make a rice ball. Korean roasted seaweed chips that are healthy, crunchy snacks made out of rice porridge. Almond snack gim roasted seaweed chips that are full of vitamins, calcium, protein, and fiber. And roasted seaweed or Korean gim that you can eat as a snack or with your rice meal. There is just so much you can do with seaweed. Oh yeah, that was seaweed seaweed salad. <laughs> Say seaweed to seaweed salad. Seaweed. Seaweed salad. salad. It's so delicious to eat with the meat as a side dish or by itself. So you can get it at local Costco at some areas. I'll list the locations down below. And click on my link down below to check out seaweed, seaweed salads and try it out for yourself. These are straight from Korea. I think you guys will love it. And now, back to the video as we eat. Mmm. <laughs> I see that starting medium, you're not touching the sun tofu as much. We're eating more of the meat. Ooh, this is your first rice bowl. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, oh, I'm more Korean than, than you, huh? Whoever has been going through the rice. I mean, I usually do too. I mean, I, I guess I am more Korean than you with the That's pride. true. You're wearing the Korean jersey. Just ate too <laughs> fast. Okay. Let's move on to spicy now. This I'm is actually, I'm starting to, because when I compare the bulgogi mm. with the, the spicy bulgogi, yeah. I'm not 100% spicy bulgogi yet, mm -hmm. but I would say 50-50. Wow. So you like So the... I would eat here a little and here a little. I don't know if that's a good thing, this development, or is I think it it's a, a good thing. Is it a dangerous thing? I think it's a, oh, the redness is just stuck there. I think it's good. That just shows that you can train anyone. Okay, so let's try the spicy level kimchi sun tofu. This is usually what I order. Grab a little bit of pork, a little bit of kimchi, a little bit of tofu. It's not that bad. Cheers. Cheers, Brittany. Cheers. Mmm, it's not bad at all. No, it's okay. Yeah, even the spicy is very doable. I do prefer the, the other flavor a little bit more. The mild. The mild, yeah. At least you don't like plain. That's no, I don't like to fly. It's a different spice. It's, it's better. Like last week, for mm -hmm. example, I was just straight up. They didn't want it to hurt me. Yeah, last week was tough. And that was Korean too. But this is just like a spice that is not attacking you. It's like it wants to be your friend, kind of. Yeah. A spicy friend. Spicy friend. Danger. 
I put this in a pot to keep it hot. You know, I thought spicy foods shouldn't be cold. So this is going to be dumpling sun tofu. I've never tried that either. It sounds really good. And this is the level danger. Ooh. Oh, that, that looks different. The color definitely looks darker, <laughs> way darker than the other ones. So it gets darker as you see. Yeah, and then now this is like black. I'm waiting for your reaction before I join. Okay, so this is a danger level soup. Not bad. It's still hot, which is nice. So we're gonna try the dumplings. Mmm. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, so this one has a burn after. So it keeps kind of burning, but it doesn't hurt. It's not painful. Now, so this has been an enjoyable spice journey. So now I can at least see why people like spice. Before that, I, I never thought I'm gonna say that. Wow, Herbert. Such a contrast from last week's video. Well, last week was just violent again. <laughs> We have a lot of leftovers. What I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna mix all of this together and make it into a pot. They all kind of even each other's spice out, you know? Makes each other medium when you put it together. That's how it works. That's how it works. So that was us trying BCD with seaweed seaweed salad. That was really yummy. I recommend you guys to try BCD. They have locations kind of everywhere, so I feel like you should be able to find these. I would actually go in there usually right it's so cool because you get so many side, side dishes. dishes yeah soon tofu is something that is i think very special not a lot of people know about it and it's delicious and good for your body so thank you guys for watching and see you next time bye